Hey viewers, do you suffer from chain suck? First, what is chain suck? That is chain suck. So basically, uh, chain suck is where the chain doesn't let go of the teeth on one of the chain rings and then continues to wrap up towards the uh, front derailleur there. This usually happens when you're shifting, like from one ring to another, and most commonly while you're doing it on, under a load. So if you're shifting and you're really pedaling, uh, torquing down on the chain there, um, that's most likely when it's going to happen. Okay, so what causes chain suck? There's actually a variety of different things that can cause it, and so we're gonna go with, uh, through some of those. Uh, one of the easiest to fix is a dirty drivetrain. If your drivetrain is all uh, gunked up with old grease and dirt and everything like that, or you've been riding in muddy conditions, there's all kind of mud and gunk all over it, that can cause chain suck. So just go through, clean uh, and degrease your chain rings and your chain and relubricate your chain and hopefully that'll uh, solve your uh, chain suck issue. Um, if you're gonna be riding in muddy conditions, use a lubricant designed for riding in muddy conditions, a nice wet conditions uh, lubricant. And so hopefully that will help prevent your chain from getting all gunked up with dirt and stuff like that that will cause the chain suck. Another thing that might cause chain suck is a, uh, a chain that hasn't been lubricated. Uh, so if it gets dry, that can cause chain suck. So go again, go ahead, clean and lubricate your uh, chain, use a good lubricant on there, and maybe that'll solve your chain suck issue. Now, another thing that can cause it is a worn drive train. If, I, something that I see quite often is I'll pick up used bikes and the, the, the people who owned it before have just ridden it in the ground. They've, uh, the chain has gotten worn and they continued to ride uh, the bike with a worn chain where it gets stretched. And so usually what I'll do is I'll use a, uh, like a chain gauge and uh, check the, the, for the wear on the chain and see if it's how worn it is. If it's really worn, I'll go ahead and replace the chain. But if they've been riding on a, a worn chain for quite a while, that uh, can wear down the chain rings and uh, cause the teeth to get kind of pointed and the gaps between that. And so when you have a worn chain and a worn chain rings, that can cause chain suck. But even worse than that is if you go ahead and replace the chain with a brand new chain, but still have the worn chain rings on there, now you can get major uh, chain suck. And that's actually the condition, uh, the, the, what I have here is the, I, I installed a brand new chain to replace an extremely worn chain on there, but the chain rings on this crank set here are very worn. Here's an example of some chain rings that have not a lot of wear on them. Notice how they're kind of, uh, they've got some width to the, uh, the teeth there and nice rounded uh, spaces between the, uh, the teeth there. Okay, so here's chain rings that are on the bike here. Look at this middle chain ring especially. Look at these teeth. Uh, notice how narrow they are. Look at the gap between the, the teeth here, how they're kind of elongated. They're not rounded, they're kind of odd shaped. The slopes on either side of the, the, the teeth here, they're a little bit different. Uh, they're kind of pointy. Uh, th this chain ring is extremely worn. The small one also is worn, but the middle one especially is very bad. Uh, and uh, that's what happens when you uh, ride a really worn chain. It wears out the chain rings as well. And so when I put a brand new chain on this uh, extremely worn chain ring, that's just a recipe for chain suck. So what I need to do is change out these uh, chain rings uh, with some brand new ones. Uh, and so w with the new chain and the new chain rings, that should solve the issue of chain suck on this bike. Now another uh, potential cause of chain suck is damage to the teeth. So even if the teeth are not worn, there might be some sort of a damage to the teeth. It could, they could uh, possibly be bent over a little bit. Um, or maybe there can be like small little burrs on the teeth themselves. And so what you can do, you can possibly repair those, possibly bend the tooth back a little bit, or if there's a little bit of a burr on there, maybe just go ahead and file it down a little bit. So it could be that the, the uh, chain ring is still usable and you might be able to fix it. Uh, if not, go ahead and replace the chain ring and hopefully that'll solve your issue like that. Now another thing to consider is your shifting technique. If 
you uh, wait to shift until you're the steepest part of the hill and you're crank, 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 and then shift down, that can cause chain suck and, and cause a lot of wear and tear on your drivetrain, drop chains, everything like that. Um, so what you want to do is you want to anticipate when you're going to need to shift. So as you're coming to the hill, start shifting down. You, as you're getting the, the steeper part, shift down before you get to the steepest part of the hill. And so that you're not shifting under a real heavy load. And that might help prevent chain suck. Well, anyway, those are the most common things that cause chain suck, and I'm sure that there's other things that cause it as well that are less common, like maybe frame flex or a cracked uh, chain ring or whatever, uh, but those are the most common ones. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and be sure to click the little bell so you get notified of new videos that come out. And I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a ton of stuff over there. And I have a web page, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page, and I have stuff over there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.